it's Terhi here with a new layout for HipKit Club. I'm using uh, October kits and I'm doing this very bold and strong layout today. In the picture is my goddaughter and godson, my sister's uh, children, and they are really inspiring in that picture, They're matching perfectly to our October kits. Um, colors. I did a little layer of uh, clear gesso on the background because I wanted the background to be waterproof as I'm going to use some mediums and Prima's watercolor pencils I'm using later. But right now I did some circles with pencil and I'm adding some washi tape stripes we had in our October embellishment kit. They are from Bebels and I really enjoy the color scheme because you have this uh, earth tone uh, washi tapes and then we have a lot of black and white which is nice for this layout. Uh, some brown and goldish colors as well. Uh, I'm adding just few here and there to make some kind of texture and uh, nice details on the background. Uh, I don't measure anything or do any special uh, shape to the background. I'm just adding some here and there with straight lines because I love straight lines. Uh, once I'm finished with washi tapes, I'm going to add a layer of um, black gesso through the stencil which is designed our design team coordinator Kim Watson I really love her style and her work and if you like it as well I prefer you to watch our November kits because they are some exclusive uh, designs from Kim Watson and she is really like the future star anyway uh, I'm adding some black gesso through the stencil to this uh, on top of these washi tape stripes and then now we'll let it dry completely and that's it once we have completely dry layers of uh, black gesso i'm spraying some water uh, to the background uh, to the places i'm going to draw with these watercolor pen watercolor pencils um, I'm spraying the water because I don't uh, feel like <laughs> dipping the uh, pencil to the water all the time, so I like it this way. The color will spread out some uh, quite much, and that's exactly the effect I'm one wanting to have. So I'm just drawing the lines of these uh, crosses and I let the color spread. Uh, right now it's the color is looking quite strong but once it's dry it will be lighter so if you are trying this technique I, I would recommend you to add a lot of colors because they are getting lighter when they are dry. After this background is ready, I'm doing this layout, just I'm doing every single layout I made. Uh, I have prepared this uh, paper cluster, actually it is time two paper clusters, which I'm adding to the background with double-sided tape, some thread between the layers, and then um, this paper like a frame to the picture. I'm also adding some embellishment, these acetate um, die cuts we had in our October kits. They are really nice because they um, leave this layout really airy and uh, that's the way I like it to be. So I'm adding some embellishments and title and thinking about which one I'm go going to use. And this time I'm preferring to use those big black uh, words from American Crafts uh, because they are matching perfectly to the black and white washi tape stripes and to black uh, gesso cross I made it with the stencil to the background. Uh, this is really bold layout from me so I was quite scared 
of having this uh, sweet and precious picture and then this bold element uh, next to it, but it really works. So I just says I took Sarah. Don't know the word. I recommend you to <laughs> try different things because um, sometimes it's surprising to have this uh, things uh, you don't know exactly what you are doing, and then you have this pretty layout or pretty pro project. So this was what happened today. Anyway, the finishing touches with uh, Thirty Knot Splash Ink. Uh, white one and black one with a stick and there it is simple as possible but again it's really bold and rich so uh, I really like this one hope you did as well um, as said this was made with uh, HipKit Club October kits which are, avail are available in HipKit Club store so thank you for watching and we'll see you soon Thank you and bye.